Hello! So, today I'm going to be doing a video on like beginner's hair. I'm going to show how to curl hair. I thought this would be fun. Um, if you want other videos like this, like um, how to braid, how to blow dry, anything like that, let me know and I can definitely do that. Um, and yeah, apart from that, I think that's all I need to say, but I hope that you enjoyed the video, and yeah, let me know if you have any other ideas of what you want me to do, and I hope that you enjoy the video. I'll see you on the next one. So, this is my hair right now. It's kind of wavy because I sleep with it in a bun, so it kind of gives me like heatless curls. If you don't want to curl your hair, that's a good idea. So, when you are curling your hair, first thing you want to do is have it fully brushed out because you don't want any knots getting fried. Then, what is important is to use a heat protector. This is by Tresemme, the Thermal Creations. I have used this since I was like 11 and first discovered curling irons. I don't think this is something that you need to spend $30 on. This is like three. So just spray it lightly in your hair. This is gonna be a while. Okay. You don't want to like soak your hair. Just a few sprays will make it good. And then you want to brush that in while it's still like wet so it kind of goes on the rest of your hair. Next, when I curl my hair, I just kind of do it like this, all of it down. But that can be kind of tricky for someone who is new. And this is for people who are new to curling their hair. So what I like to do is I like to split it into three sections that separates it enough for me. So what I do is I go from the top of my ears all the way back and this bottom section is what I'm going to work with first. The rest of this can go away. Alright, so I have an undercut which is currently being grown out so I don't have a ton of hair here, but a lot of people will. So me, I can just curl these two sections. Um, depending on the kind of curl that you want, you can use different sized curling irons, different sized sections. What most people are going for these days are those like big beachy waves, which you can use probably not quite this big, probably half this size, like a square inch, square inch and a half size sections. and a one inch barrel. I have this one that I got from cosmetology school. It's really annoying. It's not the normal kind of curling iron. Use a normal curling iron. Do not, you, you can't get this, but just ignore what I'm doing with this and use a normal spring-loaded curling iron. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take your first section and so there are a couple ways you can curl hair. You can use this as a wand and just go like that, or you can use it with the clamp. I normally like to use the clamp because I think it looks a little better. So, so what I do is get your hair as flat as you can. Don't like twist it a bunch. Keep it as flat as you can. That'll make sure that the heat goes evenly and get an even curl. And you're gonna run this down almost to the ends, twist it once, unclamp it, bring it down to the ends, and then curl it up. And the reason that I um, wrap it in the middle once before going down to the ends is that it just gives it a little bit more hold and your hair doesn't fall out of the curling iron as easily. And then you just wanna hold it there 
until your hair is kind of hot to the touch and then undo it. You can see that little curly curl there and then just get him out of the way. And then you can do the same thing and get that beachy curl effect. What I like to do is alternate the way that I curl, the direction that I curl the hair. So that last one I curled away from my face. This one I'm going to curl towards my face. And again, it's important to keep the curl as flat on the curling iron. Don't let it like twist in on itself. Don't make your curling iron super, super hot either. Don't make it hotter than 400 degrees. If your curling iron has like a temperature setting, don't make it hotter than 400. If it has like a low, medium, high, I'd recommend doing medium at least until you know what your hair can take. And I'm going to leave them just like this in their curly cube madness until the end. You want to let the curls set and cool in their shape until the end when they're completely cool and then you can run your fingers through them. Alright, so I just let down the middle section of my hair, so I still have the very top clipped up. I'm bring all this forward and just start again. Get to the middle, twist it to the ends, wrap it up. And depending, I have pretty long hair. My hair cannot fit all on the barrel, so the tops of my hair are not going to be curled, but that doesn't really matter. Not a lot of people like their hair curled all the way to the roots. I'm just continuing to alternate the way that I curl them. If you don't perfectly alternate it, it's not the end of the world. Nobody will die if you have two curls going towards your face in a row. I will say you want to, most of the time, unless you're going for a specific look, you want to, oh my god, more, I'm sorry, this lipstick is getting all over my teeth. Most of the time, unless you're going for like more like a vintage look, you want to make sure that you curl the pieces by your face, away from your face. That will open up your face a little bit more instead of like closing it in with the curls. So just make sure that the curls like on this perimeter right by your face are going away. See, so pretty. I know I'm saying it every video, but I don't know what order of these videos that are going to go up. I'm growing out my side shave and my undercuts. They look really gross right now. Because for the next, like, year, they're going to be in the gross phase. Which is super fun. Really looking forward to that. Already is super fun. I do not recommend curling your hair every day. I think that's really bad. Save it for special occasions. Don't do it every day. Don't straighten your hair every day either. Both of those are pretty bad for your hair. All right, I'm gonna go finish curling the rest of my hair and then I'll be back. So all of my hair is curled and I've left it all set in its little curls. And so you wanna, if your hair holds curl really well, you don't have to use hairspray. I'm just gonna add a little bit you can add as much as you need, whatever strength you need. I have only have a mini hairspray because I don't use hairspray very much. And then you want to let these dry, I mean cool completely. Like take a solid minute and don't touch your hair. Just let it 
sits until the last curl is completely room temperature, <laughs> normal hair temperature. And then you can pull your fingers through your hair really lightly. I don't like using a brush or comb. I think that pulls out the curls too much. I just use my fingers. Just run through them a couple times to break them up. Loosen them up. And there you have it. Big bouncy curls. You can, if you use a smaller curling iron, these will be much tighter. I don't really like that look. I think it looks like you're in middle school. But, and if you have shorter hair, then you really should use a smaller curling iron. But this is what works well for me. Just kind of play with them till they look how you like, and that's pretty much it. So that they look like back. I don't know if you can see. I never realized how long my hair is. Because to me, my hair is really short. Because I normally have hair like down to my waist. And since it's like only mid chest length, I'm like, I'm bald. But yeah. So, hope that this video was helpful. Hope that you know are slightly more confident curling hair. Honestly, you just need practice. I don't recommend practicing all the time because you know, that will fry your hair. But, like, whenever you're feeling brave, just bring out your curling iron and do a couple curls. Like, it, it just needs practice. It's not, it's daunting, but it's not hard. Um, be careful with it. Please don't burn yourself. It kind of hurts. I have a big scar across one of my knees from when I dropped a curling iron on it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have burns on my hand, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you want any other hair videos, like I said in the beginning, braiding, blow drying, updos, buns, ponytails, whatever. Whatever you want. I'm willing to do. I'm pretty good at hair. I know I know a little bit. And so um yeah, if there's any other kind of video that you want me to do, let me know. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it, you know, all the all the good YouTuber stuff. And yeah, I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.